Hi everyone, it's day 20 of the 3 week product build challenge and uh, today was all about uh, building the v0.3 version which is set to launch tomorrow so we are almost on uh, d-1 uh, day so tomorrow is the final day of this uh, entire challenge that I took upon myself on November 6 um, so it feels great to be here uh, still one more day left and uh, I hope I am able to complete everything I have planned um, in order to successfully launch it on Monday. So uh, coming back to the uh, progress that I have made today, uh, initially I first sit and classify the key, what all am I supposed to still do, what all uh, and like classifying it into the uh, Moscow method, right? the classic prioritization. What are all the must-haves that I want? What are all the should-haves that I want? Could-haves and won't-haves. So uh, that itself took a lot of time because I had a lot many things that I had uh, going in my head and I understood that while a lot of them are already there, I know that several of them might not be actually needed uh, uh, for the first launch at least. Uh, maybe at the end after this entire challenge uh, completes also, I can still you know, put in some time after, uh, later some time and maybe uh, still work on it. But at least for the first version of the launch, I want to make sure that all the must-haves are there in the product. So, um, I first jotted down everything that I had and uh, uh, a few things that I realized that time was that uh, uh, I actually planned on launching it on, uh, launching it at Masters Union and at the start, while every uh, while the entire uh, uh, project started back in November 6, the plan was to have some sort of a game uh, at Masters Union during the launch. That was the whole plan. But then I started focusing on the actual user needs that are there. And uh, so what I had to finally come down to was uh, to have some sort of a quiz or whatever is there right now. The current version is basically to serve user's uh, purpose right but um, it didn't align on one hand yes I have uh, covered the user's perspective but I felt that one thing I was lagging again was my vision towards this entire product right so my vision towards this whole thing was to have some sort of an interactive game right at the end of the day it should be interactive and fun while Playing quizzes, of course, are you know kind of interactive and, and fun to some extent. That is not the kind of interactivity that um, um, was sufficient, I should say, not um, what I wanted, but not the uh, not at par with my expectations. Uh, when I actually played the quiz, I didn't. I just felt like it was just another random uh, normal quiz uh, thing that is there. I I didn't feel like uh, the kind of thing that I got. While, play, while I played Duolingo or while I played um, UXL. So I have to bring in those aspects of uh, gamification inside um, which I have also I have planted uh, but it is under must uh, uh, should have not must have. But anyway, uh, coming back to the point, um, I felt that there should be a, a game. So while I spoke to uh, Naveen who is the head of PM club at Masters Union. Um, he suggested me to give a detailed brief on how if I if I am planning to do it for a span of one hour, he wanted to have a brief on what I will be doing for that one hour which is fair. Um, so I initially broke it down saying that okay first 15 minutes will have the launch, another 30 minutes will play this game and then next 15 minutes is a buffer period in case something goes out of hand. So that was the overall plan with which we sta I started off um, and then um, I started working on the game dynamics and um, I got caught into it. So initially I already had a, a bit of a plan, um, an overall idea of how it is supposed to um, work like, how the game dynamics are supposed to be there. If you, if you guys remember. During the MVP phase, I told that I have come up with a great concept, maybe during the launch I will use it and that's exactly what I wanted to do now. Um, but actually, uh, looking by the likes of it, it needed much more detailing, uh, which I started doing today. Um, so, 
still I'm confused on one aspect as to whether I can completely do it offline or I need to have some aspect of it within the app and some aspect of it offline um, like for an example to uh, select what feature you are going to um, uh, I mean what requirement you are going to satisfy and see the analytics on the dashboard some sort of dashboard in the app and maybe the actual playing would be somewhat physical uh, I'm still figuring all those operational stuff out but uh, the plan is if everything works out then tomorrow um, I mean uh, on uh, Monday uh, I'll play this entire game with along with the app uh, you know kind of like a hybrid thing um, at Masters Union but if it doesn't work out then the backup option would be to have a solid plan on how I can uh, play the entire game offline so I'll have to figure that out but apart from that the major must haves uh, so uh, one more thing uh, that got completed today was uh, a few editing um, that I had to do I'll come back to this point but um, another other major things are that uh, the bug fixing partially it is done similarly the image uh, updation for all those uh, individual games are almost still done still few are pending which I aim to complete by tomorrow database restructuring on progress uh, almost done still uh, few are pending uh, now detailed content for all concepts and key learning objectives uh, for all content that needs to be created that is still not there and I think uh, I actually wanted to do all of this today but uh, most of my time got occupied with this uh, game designing stuff so what I plan to do tomorrow is to allocate first uh, two or three hours maybe max uh, to chalk out the entire game uh, mechanism on how it is going to play, whether, uh, be played whether it is online or offline or whatever it is and then uh, can you uh, use the next maybe uh, I don't know maybe uh, 6 hours I'm not sure maybe 6 or 7 hours to try to complete all of those points that I have listed here because this is the core objective that I have want to have in the game right so I want to complete all these pointers and once that is done, I will uh, see how I can incorporate those, uh, you know, online uh, gaming aspects inside the, in, as a separate uh, page. And that would be uh, launched at Masters Union. Uh, or if not, if I don't have sufficient time, then um, I'll just keep it completely offline. Um, I'll figure out some way on how I can do that. But uh, yeah, this is the overall plan that I have uh, for today. I mean for tomorrow um, today was very slow paced actually um, I wanted to do a lot of things but I felt that uh, I did everything partially and I couldn't complete uh, one single thing and strike it off so yeah that's the overall plan now coming back to I think this is uh, I feel this is the right time uh, hopefully it's not too late but uh, to those who who are actively actually watching my uh, po uh, podcast not podcast but uh, watching this series this challenge that I have been doing the actual reason I did this is uh, the fact that a year back actually uh, if you guys uh, know I mean people at Masters Union my batch and people from a uh, couple of people from my junior and senior cohorts know it but I've been conducting uh, a small series of uh, podcasts called Monday Morning Moonshots wherein I, I took up problem statements from UN SDG uh, goals and uh, uh, we started playing this moonshot game wherein we will be given three random technologies and we are supposed to choose one technology from that and uh, we are supposed to uh, brainstorm for some period of time so that's the overall moonshot game and on top of it I added my own secret sauce wherein um, we will discuss the idea first for the first half an hour and the next half an hour we uh, will be discussing the uh, actual uh, business model on how it can be executed uh, so that was the overall objective so I had made around 5 uh, podcasts at that point in time uh, at which I reached out to the CEO of X um, for most of, most of you right now uh, who will hear the term X it will only refer to your, I mean, sarcasm aside, but it will only refer to Twitter for most of you. Um, 
but for me uh, x will always be x the moonshot factory x will always be google x for me um, so uh, that's one of the most aspirational companies that i've always wanted to work on uh, work in not work on um, so i work with uh, if i have to so um, i reached out to the ceo of x and uh, he actually uh, i think he had forwarded it to the one who actually created the game the moonshots game and we had a call and then i managed to do a, a podcast with uh, a person called sam uh, who's who was that time uh, working as a part of the rapid evaluation team at x um, so i managed to record this podcast uh, on december sorry uh, november 27th um so the podcast wherein sam along with uh, two or two other people from my cohort yashwant and akhil and one one person from uh, the junior cohort which is abhishek and one another person from senior cohort called pooja so we five of us joined during that podcast we discussed it went on for almost one or two hours uh, which is the you know um, the most uh, the longest podcast i had recorded Uh, but i couldn't actually launch the podcast immediately because uh, two things uh, i recorded managed to re- do this podcast on 27th and 28th was when i had to join the new company that uh, i got an offer with uh, so after joining the company i couldn't manage to get sufficient time to work on this um, because majorly because i wanted to um, showcase something as a result right i took so i made so much effort to create that entire podcast um uh, get up uh, get on a call with uh, someone at x and uh, record that entire podcast so i wanted to do some justice to that saying that okay this was what was discussed at the end of that podcast and this is the uh, you know this is one of my uh, key uh, i don't know outputs or uh, maybe if i can um the end result of uh, what we had discussed to check or to simulate whether uh, uh, my hypothesis work or not so that was the whole point of it and uh, if you guys remember i took it as a 21 day challenge on november 6 because i wanted to launch it on 27th uh, november and uh, i decided it on november 5 that i have to do this because now i can't uh, go on so i took it as a 21 day challenge just because i didn't have any other time i only had 3 weeks left uh, and i wanted to do some justice to this um, and also i wanted to um, you know test my product sense skills that i was sure that um, i'm a uh, i'm a good product manager right a decent product manager i have I ha- i've had a little bit of experience as a product owner before as well as a little bit of product management as well as being a chief of staff i have a little bit of exposure to that but i wanted to um um i don't know how to put this but i wanted to test my product skills uh, at place and given this kind of uh, short uh, uh, sprint that i was trying to do a 3 week sprint Uh, i thought it was a good day a good um, way to put my product uh, skills uh, to test and that was the secondary reason uh, for me to do it so um, combining both of those that was the whole purpose of me creating this way of uh, coming back to the point the actual reason why i created this app for or why I, why my object what my objective was to create uh, a gamified way Uh, for people to learn product management right an interactive and fun way or gamified way uh, to help people learn product management because the end end uh, conclusion at the in the podcast that i did with uh, sam was that um, you know a gamified way will help people uh, learn better uh, something on those lines um, so i wanted to uh, have a product which reflects that entire exact thing so uh, that was the whole reason behind it and uh, yeah there it is i think uh, that's one thing i uh, that's ac- the actual reason why uh, if you guys remember at the start of this entire challenge i i had put a post that 27th is something very special to me and this was that very special thing that happened a year back 
So um, I've been working towards that for last three weeks, and I think I'm in a I'm in a decent position, uh, right? A good position, not so great, not so bad, a decent position. Um, and I hope I aim to uh, achieve that great position by tomorrow. Uh, but sure, uh, whatever it is, I think it was a great uh, time going. So uh, one more day. Uh, I hope I have the right amount of. Uh, time to complete all the tasks that I have. Uh, it's a Herculean thing that um, I f now feel that this game thing has come in as a scope creep, <laughs> which I did, I wanted to avoid. But uh, at the end of the day, I had to make sure that it was also more in line with the vision that I had or the purpose of why this entire thing was created. So yeah, sure. I and mean, in that aspect, I think that is still required, and um, I think it's uh, a good thing that I did that. So yeah, uh, that's it for today guys, I hope you guys liked it, please do comment, like and share and subscribe if you guys liked it and I'll see you guys again tomorrow, bye bye.